I'm Kevin Olseri, and I lead the Image Day project. And I'm Ann Carpenter. I lead the Cell Profiler project. We created the Scientific Imaging Forum when we realized that biologists need an online resource for biological image analysis questions. We used to have separate question and answer forums for our individual software projects, but we merged them because often beginners don't even know where to get started on their project, and they don't know which software they should use. Sometimes it just takes a few minutes to get the right help to really affect the direction of a project. It's really great and important to ask for help with experts when you are starting off or when you're stuck with a problem of bioimage analysis. And it's equally important to actually be able to have software solutions to choose for the best solution for your problem. The forum has really brought the bioimaging community together. Now there's over 20 other software projects and community organizations that are using it as their main outreach. These include software projects from the whole bioimaging workflow spectrum, as well as scientific organizations such as NewBias, the network of European bioimage analysts. The forum now has more than 9,000 registered users and over 70,000 posts. To get started, you can search existing posts to see if someone's already proposed a solution. Sometimes you can find pipelines or macros for software that can be quickly adapted to your project. If not, post your question. If you have the question, someone else does too. And there are many, many advantages. This forces you really to think carefully about your problem. Writing clear, well-defined questions without biospecific jargon oftentimes helps you understand it and clear to you just by writing out the question. If not, once you get the answer to your problem, not only do you benefit, but so do others. You're helping other people, and they can search and find their solution in the different categories and different tools we have in the forum. So you don't need to share your specific goals or scoop yourself in your article. You can just give minimal working examples, and you'll be helping yourself and the community as a whole. And you'll find other resources, too, on the forum, such as announcements for scientific conferences and training workshops, where you can learn more about bioimage analysis, and job openings for when you fall in love with bioimaging and want to do it full-time. We hope to see you soon, asking questions and posting answers at your Scientific Community Image Forum. But by no means is this the only great resource out there. There are many others that can help you get started both in imaging and in image analysis, such as these listed here.